Andreos. I'm the design director for HKS's commercial interior studio here in Dallas, and welcome to our office. I will take it back now to um, my college days. I graduated from Parsons School of Design in New York in 2002, right after September 11th. Um, I quickly, after graduating, moved back to Texas because Texas is home for me. My whole family is actually in Houston. So most of my career has mainly focused in uh, corporate interiors or the workplace. I think that is my sweet spot because it's become really a combination of not only office space, but we infuse residential and hospitality and now even healthcare into our projects. So it's a really exciting uh, sector to be in. We are finishing up right now a 100,000 square foot office space for a financial um, firm and it's a beautiful project. It is um, a bit higher end than a lot of our other projects. It has an internal stair which is always um, a, a big number from a construction cost. Um, they have a nice flux or a nice distribution of private offices and open workstations. Um, it's just the nature of their business. They do a lot of focus work, so they need that privacy and that focus time. But they really wanted to shift over to a, an improved and evolved culture, so they really focused on their amenities. So their cafe spaces, their meeting rooms, more of the public space, where that's more of a feature as compared to their past location. work a lot in tandem with our architecture um, partners up on our level seven, which we'll, we'll go up to in a second. And so we do a lot of um, their amenity spaces, so their building amenity spaces. So the architects do the core and shell, and then we come in and do their lobby, um, their fitness area, their, um, their lounge areas, really the public facing zones and then the tenants and the tenant architects come in and, and, and design their, um, their individual offices. consider anything below a typical floor plate which is about 30,000 that's a smaller project um, medium project would probably be anywhere from a hundred to three hundred thousand square feet and then I think our JP Morgan Chase is is about a million square feet because it's multi-level in 
mean, the bigger, the, obviously, the bigger the project, the more time it's going to take to build that out. As an employer and as a studio director, I don't like to see a lot of hopping around. I think the average now is two to three years at the same firm, which I think is fine because sometimes you need to jump around to either experience a different part of the industry or, to, or for financial reasons, actually. Um, but I think, I think the pandemic has taught us that we can be flexible with our schedules, that we don't need to be tethered to our desks. I know that some of my clients and even here at work, they foster that kind of culture where there is that freedom, there is that flexibility. In other, in other companies, they want you at your desk. And sometimes leadership equates seeing you at your desk with being productive, right? And the reality, this has taught us that you can have the flexibility and you can be untethered, but still be productive. I think the thing that's lacking for us now is, is we crave that connection. We crave that collaboration, especially in what we do, because it is the creative process. So you need to bounce ideas off of each other. And so not being able to do that in person, it's really difficult because you can only do so much on a Zoom call or a video call. I think right now is there's probably a lot of uncertainty with students, especially the ones graduating or the ones that graduated last May and the upcoming seniors. And it's it's it, it can be challenging, I'll be honest, because I graduated in a tough time as well. It took me nine months to find a job after I graduated. And I think what what um, kept me going is just Staying um, on top of the design world, understanding the research that is happening in the design world. Um, I think networking, continuing to network with um, industry partners, whether that's a rep, whether that's somebody, a design professional that you meet, like myself. Just continuing to keep up those relationships because you know, the minute we can start hiring again, we know who to call because they've been in contact with me for the past few months. So I would say um, keep up, keep hope, and if you have the opportunity, go explore the world. I know there's finances involved with that, but take every opportunity to be curious about maybe something completely different, whether that's travel, whether that's graphic design or fashion design or even even going back to school for business.